Today is the last day of the league stage of the MRF World Series for the Jawaharlal Nehru Cup. The two teams playing a match at Calcutta today are India and Pakistan and three teams have already reached the semi-final stage and this match will provide the, the fourth slot to be filled. The match, any match between India and Pakistan is always an event. It has its own flavor, its own luster and today's match against uh, additional significance by which of the, the importance of the occasion, the fact that Pakistan will be trying their best to fill up the fourth slot and join the three that are awaiting them uh, at the top of the table. India has had some bad uh, middle order experiences in the last few games. They'll have to tighten up their batting. Amana, Veng Sarka uh, will have to get some runs at last and Kapil Dev will also have to chip in. They, they've had some unlikely heroes in the last two, three games. Chetan Sharma got 100. But you can't expect uh, these uh, lesser known performers to, to do better than their wanted form all the time. So it will be the experienced senior players who will be expected to provide the substance to the innings. Pakistan has been led marvelously by Imran. He's been inspirational. He's got the wickets when needed. And his team has really given, them, given him their 100%. So they will be out to continue with this, uh, with the hold, psychological hold which they have over the Indian side. And uh, they will also want to increase their run rate, which is a little lower than that of Australia, just in case they should lose this match. So the match is being watched by 60, 70,000 people in Calcutta who are anxiously waiting for the start. Let's go and join them. Raja. He's got past Kapil there, a fine shot, fine onside deflection. It's going to be four runs. Pakistan very quickly among the runs. Kapil Dev to Amir Malik. Can't cut that off. Very finely placed between gully and point. Four runs, second four of the innings. Raja has a lot of scores to settle. Pakistan are in a very precarious position in this tournament. Rescuing that one, beaten by the cutback, ball keeping low. Ramiz Raja on strike to Chetan Sharma. Veng Sarkar at mid on. Takes a shy at the non strikers end, a big smile there, a little bit of by play. It was more a question of needle than a genuine quest for a run. 51 without loss. Chopped down again, this time beating Azaruddin. Good bit of batting there. Applying his intelligence, trying to uh, seeing uh, Azaruddin's angle and chopping it past him. Azaruddin, one hand pick up and throw all in the same action balancing himself on the left foot and uh, firing that ball in the gloves of the wicket keeper all in one action Amir Malik's 50 Raja's turn to have a go at Ajay Sharma and that's a 6 Amir Malik is out. India's first breakthrough, 97 for one Pakistan. And Amir Malik is gone for 51 runs. Salim Malik, Ramiz Raja, Imran Khan, these batsmen, they don't allow pressures to work on them. And the greatest of all, of course, that great percentage player, Javed Miyadad. 100 of the innings in the 23rd over. The two openers giving Pakistan a fine start. Raja turns that round the corner. And that's his 50. Pakistan 109 for 1. Sharma to Salim Malik. That's into the air. He's out. Simple catch to Shrikant. Bad shot from Malik. His feet rooted to where he was. Getting that uh, very fine sweep and picking up four runs. 
Srikanth is no stranger to bowling in limited overs cricket. Remember, he's had some very fine spells. And that could be out. No, it's been dropped. Raman Lamba, perhaps with the sun in his eyes, got himself in the right position, got both his hands under the ball, lost his balance and dropped uh, drop the catch. Let's see that again. First delivery from Srikanth. Batsman having a mighty heave there, and there's Lamba in position at losing side of the ball at the last split second. Kapil Dev taking that catch, a very early ferry shot from Ramiz Raja. That's the third wicket, and the wicket that India wanted. Ramiz Raja was the man who was going so well. Ramiz Raja taken by Kapil Dev off the bowling of Captain Srikanth. Oh, he must be so happy to get this wicket. And Miyadad now LBW to Ayub, Pakistan 165 for 4, trying to sweep a straight ball, plumb in front. Srikanth to Ajaz, Ajaz is down the track, lifted over long on six runs. Uja is one of the hardest hitters in the game. And Kadir plays a shot that gets him six runs. Not a particularly well controlled shot. Ayub again, this time in the air. And Vengsarkar, fine catch. Vengsarkar stationed there for that shot. He managed to get it over the fence, the previous ball. But Kadir gone now. Not quite again in control of that shot. His head high in the air. And Vengsarkar judging the catch to a nicety. Ensuring that he didn't cross the boundary rope. Completing the catch well within the boundary rope. Cover point and the man at third man and Ajaz picking up four runs there. Imran almost continuing from where he left off yesterday. The final glance. Are you a futile chase, Pakistan, 238-5? Ajaz hits out and that, that's out Raman Lamba, a fine catch at long on. Straight to him, in fact. Rabakar to Akram. Appeal for LBW. The umpire. Yes, he's been declared out. LBW. Pakistan 243 for 7. A late decision from the umpire. wicket to Vengsarkar, two runs to Imran and Pakistan now cross 250. Very fine placing there by Akram Raza, he picks up four runs. Akram Raza, that's all he wants to do, give his captain the strike and he succeeds. Four balls remain. 265 for seven. He's made contact this time, no question about it. Four runs, extra cover. Imran 37 in 37 balls, score 269 for seven. Highest of the tournament. Previous highest, 265 West Indies. <laughs> and he ends the proceedings with 
for six. A couple really comes in for a mulling in the last uh, over. 19 run comings of Kapil's last over. That's not happened for many, many years. At the end of 50 overs, Pakistan 279 for seven, a truly challenging score. Could require some tremendous application from India to get past that. Certainly promising to be a keen battle ahead after the lunch break. Shrikant facing Vaseem Akram. Chuck down for a single. Mushtaq Ahmed, the fielder. Akib Javed now to Srikant. Outside the off stump and Srikant past the gully fielder. Nicely placed, four runs. Oh, well pitched up and fine off drive from Lamba. Past him run, 28 without loss, India. Lamba now nine. Short outside the off stump and Shrikan doesn't spare too many of those. 36 without loss. Keeping up the pressure on the field, keeping up the pressure on Mustak Ahmad. 50 of the innings in the 11th over. Mustak now. Nice shot, square of the wicket, on the offside and four runs. Kadir unable to cut it off. Swept away all along the ground, four runs. Yes. Olamba giving Mushtaq the treatment. Charging down the track, cleanly hit. Six. Swept, swept away. Malik in chase. Ninety-three without loss. India. A fine start by these two again. That's fine shot. Perfectly timed. Down the wicket. Picking it up very early. And the second successive century partnership between Lamba and Srikant. Very short, very poor delivery. Another six run for Raman Lamba. Raman Lamba reaching his 50 with that mighty six over mid wicket. A very poor delivery from Mustak. Count is on 49 and there's anticipatory applause. That's Srikant's 50. India 115 without loss in the 21st over. Sort of point and backward point to cut off Raman Landa, Lamba's flourishes on the offside. It's in the air, it could be caught, and Akib Javed takes that catch, and India's lost the first wicket. Raman Lamba caught Akib, bowled Kadir for 57 runs. From another angle, giving it the charge. So India lose their first wicket with a score at 120. Kadir striking in his uh, very first over. To Srikant and guided very fine. Four runs. Srikant now 60. This time outside the off stump. Nicely hit, four runs again. 131 for one, India. And from outside the off stump, swept away. 
towards fine leg up from the fielder and Shrikant stumbles that could be a run out he loses his bat yes very unfortunate dismissal there Shrikant wondering why luck deserted him watch that again from outside the off stump Shrikant sweeping it fine Akram now the fielder on the fence there runs in picks up and Shrikant stumbles he doesn't slip he loses his bat had he had his bat he might well have grounded it so India with that single 100 for 150 for two still needing to score at 6.3 and over to win single to Vengsaka he's 10 Vengsaka drives in the air and Imran at mid wicket straight forward catch Vengsaka steps out and drives not quite to the pitch can't keep it down and India 155 three. Pick up four runs, lucky shot, bottom of the bat. Now he's been taken there, that's Abdul Kader taking the catch. And that's the end of uh, Mohinder Ramanath's innings. India 166 for four. We start now to Ajay Sharma. Clean bowl. Clean bowl. A gentle leg spinner and Ajay Sharma hitting all over it. A mighty swing of the bat. Sharma chancing his luck once too often. Jumping out. A wide swing of the mat that missed completely. 171 for 5 India. Chetan Sharma lofted shot there. But there's a fielder getting under it. Shoaib out. Chetan Sharma gone and India from 122 without loss are now 176 for 6. Oh, that's a fine shot, superbly timed. Timing is really off the essence. But Kapil Dev swings him away to mid wicket. Showing a fine either, 187 for 6. Chimpu Nagmanjeka send back, could be run out, yes. Said show, throw. Sanjay Manjeka going for that single. And India lose yet another wicket. Watch that again, Mushta to Manjeka. A defensive prod. The ball only a few yards away towards square leg. Kapil Dev sending Mandreka back. Mandreka breaking, but unable to regain the crease. Direct hit from side. I think Kapil Dev will be looking to get to 200 first and then give it a go. This ball. Basi Makran bowling very intelligently, beating his defences. Kapil bowled and India 196 for 7. We see that again. A little wide of the crease. Yorked him off his pads. Yorker link. So Pakistan once more finishing with a flourish. Akib Javed to Karan Mori. Shot down to Abdul Qadir. A third man. It's 200 of the innings. So, as far as that uh, issue is concerned of India finishing on top of the table, appears should have been settled.
Two runs and India 201 for nine. Pasi Makram now to Ayub, wrapped on the pads, and he's gone. India all out for 202, losing by 77 runs. And once again, the collapse of the Indian middle order cause for concern from 122 without loss to 202 all out. A spirited display by Pakistan. So, at the end of the day, India had much to cheer about. They finished the league at the top of the table. But there was also much to be concerned about. The bowling in particular was very disappointing, unable to check the flow of runs when it counted, and enabling Pakistan to post the highest total of the competition so far. As for the batting, for a side which is supposedly without a tail, the capacity to collapse suddenly was witnessed again, from 122 without loss to 202 all out. India will have to hit upon the right combination for their semi-final clash on Monday. The other semi-finalists are the West Indies and Pakistan and England, recourse being had to the run rate to determine who plays whom. The two semi-final venues are Nagpur and the Wankade Stadium in Bombay, neither of which has yet played host to a match in this competition. The Bombay pitch is likely to be a batsman's wicket, full of runs. But at Nagpur, we are likely to see an uneven pitch where the spinners might have a say. But we'll know soon enough, the day after tomorrow, on Monday, when we'll be back with you. Before we sign off tonight, however, let's have a look at some of the magic moments of today. Six. Oh, and from outside the off stump, swept away towards fine leg, up from the fielder, and Shrikan stumbles. That could be a run out. He loses his bat. Yes. Very unfortunate dismissal there. So I think Kapil Dev will be looking to get to 200 first and then give it a go. This ball. You see Makran bowling very intelligently, beating his defences. Couple bold and India 196 for 7.